Um, we are headed to Washington, D.C. to CLHC. We are going to learn some new cool swing dance stuff with the workshops, and there's like three dances, um, which should be a lot of fun. And one's like a live band with a really big band. Carsey. I'm a bioinformatics major, second year, and I have been swing dancing since um, the beginning of first year, so almost a year and a half now. to do something active but I didn't want to do sports anymore so I decided to try to get back into dancing I did a lot of dancing but it's all like single person dance so I decided to try a partner dance and then I saw swing and it just looked like a lot of fun it was definitely a new thing that I hadn't done before <laughs> pretty fun um, and it's just like a great way it, for me it's my stress relief it's where I relax it's where I can just like not think about the 500 things I have going on at school <laughs> Any move that involves a spin, I enjoy. <laughs> I don't know, I like it all. It's a conversation is the way, best way to put it, but like the leaps are kind of the people who are like moving the conversation along. And the follows are the ones who are just adding in little bits. Regularly when I teach, I accidentally call the leads follows, and I don't know why, because I think leads in my mouth says follows. <laughs> okay. Hold on, I'm gonna check out. Start from the left. It's not about how far you remember. It's more about how free to the ground. When I do it, it's rock step kick. My knees like. We needed more follows for teachers anyways, and then I just thought it would be fun to like instruct and teach because like I want to spread what I've learned over the past year and a half to other people and it teaching helps me become a better dancer because I'll teach something and then I'll like a light bulb goes off and I'm like oh my god this makes it so much easier. I still move my left arm, not my left arm, my right arm. It helps me get to know other people in club and stuff that I wouldn't normally talk to because like I go around and check on them. It's an added bonus that I learned about when I started teaching. <laughs> Last semester I was struggling a lot with my anxiety and depression. It was kicking my butt. When my depression gets really bad, usually I just lose all motivation. 
Because, like, my anxiety is being like, you need to do this, this, and this, and you don't have time to sleep. But my depression's like, you can't do this, this, and this, and all you want to do is sleep. So then I just end up, like, sitting in a chair, watching YouTube videos, or watching something on Netflix that I don't even care about, and, like, aren't really even processing. It's just... It, it's empty. It feels really empty. So it's like, it's like there's nothing in my webcage. That's the best way I can describe it. Like there's nothing in any of me. It's just, I'm, I'm a shell of a thing. <laughs> Swing definitely helped because it's the one thing where like if I'm going through a week with really bad, like the depression or the anxiety are usually both act up really badly, I can look forward to it. I'll dance with people I've never even like talked to before but it will be a great dance and I'll get to like know them a little bit. They'll be like in the middle of the dance and just be like, oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> and they dancing with me. <laughs> Last year at one of the dances at the German house, I danced with Guy for the first time and I was like freaking out. It was amazing. Because <laughs> like, he's a really good lead and stuff. So like, that was... That is like one of the times that stands out, and then there was another time where Alex was doing a swing out variation called the Texas Tommy, and he missed my hand that he had put behind my back for his other hand, and that was really funny. <laughs> so like that's definitely like something I'll always remember. It's just like him completely like I could feel him fumbling for my hand, and he couldn't find it, and I was just like. Alex. <laughs> it's a big part of my life now. Like, it's definitely... At some point, I'll probably stop playing my saxophone, which I play now in the pep band and stuff. But, like, at some point, I'm going to stop playing that, and I'm going to stop doing a lot, but I think I'll always try, or I'll stick with swing for as long as I can until my body actually fully breaks down. <laughs>